this actually uh, field in itself is a myth because uh, most of the people don't know about it i was unaware till uh, my graduation geophysics is consists of two parts geo and physics physics is we all know then geo is the uh, the application of physics to the earth like in physics we do reflection refraction the optics then same thing what we deal is we are dealing with earth we are applying the fundamentals of physics to the earth that makes it geophysics so basically what as a geophysicist what we are doing we are conducting uh, some uh, preliminary surveys like uh, gravity magnetic surveys then airborne magnetics then seismics logging so basically what we are doing we are uh, doing the sort of x ray of earth to know what lies beneath it actually this geophysics field is uh, uh, not a bachelor course you won't find any bachelor course in geophysics so uh, the basic uh, the courses which uh, we study for application uh, for any application in any of the institute is physics then maths is mandatory and either physics or geology so these are the combinations generally uh, which are required uh, to uh, apply for the courses available in the institutes for the uh, masters in geophysics so there are no direct uh, bachelor courses in geophysics other than integrated mtech through uh, uh, in iits now from through je exam iit je like uh, we set up a camp in which we uh, build some temporary houses to stay uh, so almost 10 to 12 people of our team stay there for around 21 days continuous 21 days working and then uh, then the 14 days off so we come back home for 14 days to our families and but that 21 days are continuously working so uh, we stay there we have our accommodation and offices both uh, at the same place so we work there we stay there we are there for 24/7 for 21 days so we acquire seismic data uh, it's through a contract so uh, it's like that only being a geophysicist you can go for the you can target the it companies which uh, uh, make software for geophysics uh, geophysics because they need uh, quality check or the people who understand geophysics and they try to get it coded through their portals to their it team so you need geophysics in that also and other than oil industry then uh, if you uh, want to go into the mineral exploration then the uh, that uh, mineral exploration companies like uh, hindustan zinc vedanta no as much then uh, coal india also has you will so for the not for the coal extraction but uh, for the methane extraction and uh, and apart from that then you can always uh, uh, try to be a you do your ms or uh, this uh, phd do your M, uh, phd and you can always try in iits for the for being assistant professor you can go to the, this academic field so we uh, not only work on land but we work in waters also okay this acquisition that we are doing on land is also carried out in uh, water in the sea so the challenges are like uh, at different places there are different sort of challenges like in uh, uh, on land what we are facing it depends on the geographical area which in which we are working how hostile or how friendly it is how remote it is accessibility to the daily needs and daily then you have to plan Uh, so but that same way in uh, like once you are working in sea so you are always you know 
vessel in a ship so in that if there are uh, too much of tide there is a swell so then you don't always feel well you feel like uh, it's you not always feel well so but you take some time to get used to that conditions so it's not like that you go on day one then you are it's fine so you need to adapt so that takes time sometimes somebody uh, uh, depending upon their body and the nature so sometimes it will adapt in 10 days but sometimes it take around 2 to 3 months also so so these are challenges uh, but yeah i feel there are challenges everywhere whether you work in office or in the field condition there are challenges everywhere depending upon your job that vary this actually uh, field in itself is a myth because uh, most of the people don't know about it i was unaware till uh, my graduation um but yeah this is actually a very fascinating thing because you you are working in an industry uh, on which the most of the economies of the countries work the oil and gas the major part yeah definitely it's fascinating and uh, the conditions are not everywhere tough for the geophysics but yeah it's not that easy also but uh i would rather say uh, it's uh i don't know about the misconception but yeah then this is not the very uh, general or the common thing i don't think i need to say that oil and gas is the uh, like uh, maybe the government psus you say is the highest paying psus and similarly is the case for the private companies if you get if you got get into the good companies like uh, shell schlumberger exxon mobil haliburton baker so these are the private companies i am letting you know so these companies if you are uh, if you have qualified their exams you have to get into it they pay you well and the average salary is much more than the the average salary get in the other field Right. even the oil psu oil psu they offer you a starting basic is much higher than which is being paid in the other psu so uh, so it's one start. of the premier premier uh, and premium uh, i think uh, profession basic starting if you join as an officer executive at executive level the basic pay is around uh, 50000 The, uh, the basic starts from fifty thousand. 